A homegrown entrepreneur from St. Catharines paid a visit to students at E.L. Crosley Secondary School. So today we've brought in Joanne Secord from Paper Nuts, and this company was one of the winners on the Dragon's Den a few weeks back. Um, and it's really exciting to bring them in to speak to my entrepreneurship and marketing classes so that they can learn how to prepare and start their own business and also how to partner with, uh, with uh, entrepreneurs, other entrepreneurs, to make their business a success. Joanne and her partner Scott received $150,000 from Three Dragons for a stake in their eco-friendly packaging material company. The big pitch was that Paper Nuts is an environmentally friendly packaging machine material that really works. So once people start using it, they love it because what happens is during transportation, paper nuts open up, they interlock and they form around your product. Other uh, products like styrofoam peanuts and cornstarch nuts, they shrink they, and your product will migrate and move. With paper nuts, because they open up, it forms around your product, you, your product will not move. So the product works. So it's an easy sell. Not only does it work, it's green. It's made from 100% recycled craft paper. So we're not using a new source, we're using something that has already been used. So when you finish with your paper nuts, you can reuse them, you can throw them in the recycling, or put them in the compost. That's how environmentally friendly they are. Well, we just gave the lawyers everything last week, and he emailed me yesterday and said he would get in touch with me in a few days. So in about three weeks, we're supposed to sit down with Bruce and Arlene and hopefully sign everything and close the deal. Jim won't be coming because he's from out west, but his uh, lawyers would represent him. So that's the way it's supposed to work in a few weeks. And then once we close the deal, we are supposed to have monthly board meetings and either Bruce or Arlene will be sitting on that meeting and we'll meet with them monthly. For Karen, Dragon's Den is the perfect way to expose students to real world business scenarios. Yeah, we show the show um, every once in a while in class because it's a great opportunity for them to see real entrepreneurs try and make their business successful. And one of those things that makes them successful is to network and partner with people who know a lot more about business than they do. They might have an expertise in a specific area, but they don't know how to run a successful business. And so we show the Dragon's Den to show the students how to go about um, accessing those types of networks to make their business a success. For students, having someone who's local and making it in the business world is a real inspiration. Um, I'm hoping to find out more about what it's like to be um, in a partnership in business. Um, being a business student, uh, it's important to have real life experiences kind of taught to you so it's not all just theories and on paper. So you have something to take forward with you um, as you move out of uh, secondary school and post-secondary. Um, I'm hoping to uh, learn about how to create an idea and how to really sell it and how to market it and all the different questions that I might have about like creating a business and um, really getting people to come to it. I hope what they see is that anybody can, if they have an idea, can seize that opportunity and take, the, take on the risk to make their own ideas successful and do something important and, um, and set their own course. They don't have to rely on somebody else to, to help them be successful. They can do that on their own and they have those skills to be able to do that. To find out more about Joanne and her business, visit papernuts.ca. In Pelham, for The Source, I'm William Kelly.